Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Asia, if you're new here. And today I'm going to be doing this eye look tutorial with the infamous subculture palette. Mine is already heavily used and already very dirty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see how I created this look using the subculture palette, please stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, as usual, I'm going to be using my MAC soft ochre paint pot and I'm just using a cheapy little sponge that I got at Walmart to kind of press that all over my wrinkly vein covered lids <laughs> and this is some eye tape that I got from Sephora I think it was like six dollars but you can just use scotch tape uh, there's there's nothing wrong with that that's for sure it works great because this dang palette is so pigmented it does have a lot of fallout so I like using the tape and I'm just setting the lids really, really, really well. You want to make sure that any dampness or moisture or any type of anything, tackiness, is thoroughly set with this palette. This is just a fluffy MAC. Uh, I forget the number on it, but any fluffy crease brush will do. And I am taking shade Dawn. And as you'll see, I'm just barely tapping see how much pigment comes off on that brush it's insane just be careful there's no no need to go in there heavy with it that's for sure I'm just applying that kind of not not too precise but I just want to get that base transition color down and just going back and forth you'll see it does kind of deepen up a little bit as I blend it in from when I first put it on And next we're going to go in with New Wave, which is a really pretty mustard color. And again, tap. Tons, tons of shadow. <laughs> and I start by just bringing that a little bit lower than we did that first color. And blending, blending, blending. Taking a flat shader brush, I'm going to go in with more of that New Wave color and just really pack that color on right below the original transition shade. I'm just showing you, I forgot to show you ahead of time, how I just press that into the shadow to load it up. Because these are so pigmented and softly pressed, if you swirl your brush or go in too heavy, it there's a lot of kickback that happens in the shadows, so you just really don't need to do that. And again, just packing it on the lid. You can see when you first put that color down, it's very vibrant, and as it sets into the lid, or as you blend it out, it does get a little bit darker. This is a denser, smaller crease brush. And this one's by Sigma. I don't have any product on the brush yet, but I am just using it to blend those two colors together. That is my e.l.f. brush, and I'm going in with Fudge, which is probably the one I have the most fallout with. And as you've seen, I just barely tapped that in there. And at first, um, I don't lift my eyebrow because I have hooded, li hooded lids, so you can see where that wrinkle I'm just kind of filling that in. So once I get the baseline down in there, I'm just really pressing that shadow into all of my little wrinkles and folds and all that fun stuff. And I'm just doing it again on the other side. There's a lot of back and forth with this palette. Little bits of color and then blending it out. So I didn't pick any up any more product on this brush, I'm just using it to blend those colors together. And I am going to pick up a little bit more of that New Wave color, just to further help blend. And going back with New Wave on the other lid, just to blend a little bit more. Again with that flat shader brush. I'm going to attempt to go into Adorn, which Adorn applies great with your finger, but I have these <laughs> really long nails, so it's hard to get in there without jabbing myself in the eye, so I thought I would try it with a brush, and yeah, no, does not work. No. <laughs> so I grab a little bit of Fix Plus, mist it on the brush, pick up more product, and bang, there we go. Much better. really 
really just press that in there. And I'm just lightly blending that into the other colors. All right, this is Axis. I never wear blues and greens, so this palette is really um, forcing me to step out of my comfort zone. I get just a tiny, tiny bit, and even that I blow off the brush. And this is just, this is actually a Morphe brush, and I could not tell you which one it is, but it's great for my tiny little eyes. This is another thing that's nice about the tape. You don't have to be super careful with that, because um, you will get a nice crisp line which is really nice, especially when you're working with darker shadows. And then I'm just taking that brush and really smudging that into the lower lash line, creating a little tiny bit of a wing. And I did that on both sides, so now I'm gonna remove the tape. And as you can see, you get a nice clean line. I will clean that up, of course, when I go in with the foundation. But I'm gonna take a little bit of that Destiny and barely just go over the top of that just to kind of blend out that color and smoke it out a little bit more. I'm not too worried about really focusing on the lower lash line right now. The main thing is right there at the lash line. I want to get it as close to the lash line how I want it. And then when I go back in with foundation, I'm going to smudge it out and stuff a little bit more, make it a little bit more grungy and smoky. I don't really like how um, the green and that fudge color is transitioning, so I'm bringing and kind of just smoking out that green a little bit up and putting more of that fudge color right back into that crease to blend those two colors together a little bit better. All right, now that I have the rest of my makeup on, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my under eyes. I'm gonna go back in with that New Wave shade, which was the one we used on top. Again, barely just tapping. Look how much product you get. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with electric and just push that into the tear duct. If you want a little bit more bang with this electric color, you can wet the brush just like I did with the Adorn color to get more of a pop, but I'm kind of scared of greens like I mentioned, so we kept it small. And I'm just blending that into the Adorn color. Picking up a tiny bit more of New Wave, I'm now just smoking out that lower lash line a little bit. I'm going like super lightly in with Destiny, which is that mossy green color. And just trying to smoke out that lower lash line a little bit. All right, then I'm gonna go back in with some mascara. Poke myself in the eye. That's awesome. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'll try to flake it off. I'm gonna use my glow kit and I'm gonna take the shade Sunburst, which is the lightest shade in there. And I'm going to go in and just highlight that inner corner a little bit more because I'm just not feeling that green. I never wear green, so this is an adjustment for me. It's still going to pull that green because I have that duochrome on there, but I'm just trying to lighten it up a little bit. There we go. I'm happy with that. So there is the finished look with the subculture palette. I hope this helped you guys. Um, I do have kind of my overview thoughts of this palette. I will link the video down below. If you haven't purchased it yet, I would recommend watching that just so you can get kind of how I feel about the palette and what you should know if you're going to get the palette so that you're not disappointed. If you're interested in seeing the rest of my makeup, I'm actually doing a wear test on this foundation today. So if you want to know what it is, I will link it down below and if you want to see how it wears. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.